before talking about the type of flows let me talk about the flow elements because this is what i was trying to explain you earlier when i was explaining the interface we talked about okay see this is a screen this is another screen this is a start element this is how you connect them so this is this is where your toolbox all your resources are so what are the components that build up the flow that help you create or configure a flow there are primarily three things first is elements what are elements you see this section here screen is an element elements are nothing but actions that a flow can take right so maybe create a record maybe show a screen maybe write an email maybe call a subflow maybe use a decision node all of this be it around data be it around logic or be it around interaction all of these are called elements so you would be working with elements to get your things done through flows okay now how do you connect elements how do you say that after this element is done i want to work on this element or i want the flow to work with this particular element information that is where connectors come in that's where connectors come in that represents the path a flow can take if x happens go to y or else go to z right if india wins against australia india goes with to the afghanistan match with shubman gill uh, in the batting order right if india does not win with australia india goes with to afghanistan with a better bowling bowling configuration there are certain paths that you have to take based on what has happened currently that is how connectors are built that is how connectors help you take a path here okay that's how you configure that after screen one i need to go to screen two so himanshu how can i go to a different screen yeah there is there are way there are ways we'll look into that okay we'll look into that how do you configure multiple paths it's it, it can become a tree it can become like a tree with different branches branches having leaves all of that stuff can be configured on flows what we had in process builders was a pretty much solid flow chart if one happens okay else go to two else go to three now here the permutation combination increases because you can have a node right on top that opens up five different nodes right below it right so i'm able to picture it what i'm saying because i have worked with flows a lot i have built about 100 100 plus flows till date but you you might not be able to picture it but when we start solving the use cases you'll understand what i was trying to say okay but for now just understand that connectors are the ones that represent the path so the lines that you see are connectors so we talked about elements what is this this is an element yes what is this the end element yes what are these these are elements yes if i were to introduce something new are these elements yes how do i connect them through connectors what is the only thing pending the only thing pending is the resources so when you click on the new resource let's say you want to calculate the current time what day is it today you want to have a set of choices for the user like true or false yes or no a b c x y z you want to create a text template you want to have a formula created like today plus 11 days today minus 30 days right current month minus uh, five months right you want to store a variable that 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 changes with what the records information is so all of those things are resources right resources are what helps actions to be executed if i were to explain that properly right resources represent a value that a flow can reference and they help elements to represent an action or they help elements to execute because elements will need resources right to build a project what do you need you need resources right how do you how do you build a team by connecting those resources so that they collaborate and work with each other the communi they communicate so we are the resources the team is how the connection is built and the element is basically the end goal that we want to project or we want to put forward that the project that we want to deliver that's the end business solution right that's the action that we have to take that th that's the element okay so that's how you can relate it to here it's pretty straightforward nothing fancy but yeah these are the three elements that cover the entire flow you have to use just these three out of which you're good with connectors already because you know how to create a connector it's as simple as creating a straight line all you have to know or master is the resources and elements and once you do that you are ready to rock flows all right cool that was about flow components let's go back a slide and let's now talk about the types of flows 